All right, it is New Year's Eve today, 2022, and I just sort of finished taking a few notes on what I've learnt this year in 2022, and I have four things that I want to go through with you guys, and you know, I'd love to know in the comments below what you guys have learnt this year. Maybe it's one thing, maybe it's two, who knows, whatever it is, drop them in the comments below or wherever you're watching this video and let me know what you have learned in 2022. And if you haven't taken any time yet to reflect, then definitely do so. Definitely take some time, grab a pen and some paper, sit down with your thoughts and think back to certain events that have happened this year, certain situations that you've gone through. Maybe it's been difficult times and you know, throughout those difficult times is when we actually learn the most about ourselves. And that's where you will find those lessons from 2022. Now, for me, it's been a bit of a you know up and down year. I left my family business after 19 years working in the family business earlier this year. Then on the back of that, I had my first amateur boxing fight. And then I went on and did a second one after that as well too. I also completed over 3,000 kilometers of running this year. You know, um, a whole bunch of stuff has happened. And, you know, through all the ups and downs, the highs and lows, you know, there's lessons in there to be learnt. However, you're not going to be able to find those lessons if you don't take some time to sit back, sit down and reflect on those lessons. So here they are, the four things that I learnt in 2022. The first one I've got written down here is, you know the answer. The answer is within you. This year, I've had a lot of questions that I needed to answer. And, you know, at the end of the day, I spoke to a lot of people, uh, confide in a lot of people to get their opinions and their point of views. And ultimately, I had the answer with inside of me. And quite often in life, it's so busy, so noisy, we forget to actually get quiet, get still, and turn within. And it's in those times where we can actually be quiet and turn within that we realize we have and had the answers inside of us all this time. We just didn't look there. We just didn't look ourselves in the mirror and actually grab the answers that were already inside us. Number two, similar sort of style, is trust your gut. Trust your gut. You have the answer, all right? So back a little bit leading on from the first one is a lot of the times that the answers that I came to the conclusion that I was going to do was actually the first instinct that I had was my first gut feeling. Okay, so you need to be able to trust your gut and trust your instinct. Those feelings are often the right ones and they're telling you something. You know, they're, they're telling you from past experience, it's your subconscious talking to you through your gut and through your instincts. So another lesson for me is definitely trust my gut and trust my instincts more moving into next year. Number three, it works out. You know, this one here is a big one. When you have so much, you know, stuff happen in your life, there's a fly just you know, on my drink bottle. As you have so much stuff happens in, in your life and you think, you know, how am I gonna get through this? I'm not gonna be able to survive this. There's just no way I'm gonna make it through to the other side. Is you're, you're just like wondering, like how is it actually gonna work out? And a quote that comes to mind is, you've survived 100% of your worst days. You've survived 100% of your worst days. And it works out. I mean, at the end of the day, every situation we've been in, whether it be this year or our entire life, and I'm sure you've all had those point in times or those moments or those situations where you think there's no way out, there's no way forward, there's no way I can possibly go on anymore. How am I going to get through this? How am I going to you know, have the, the will to continue on? And in the end, we're sitting here now, New Year's Eve, and you know everything works out. Everything finds its place. Um, everything happens for a reason and you know it will work itself out so understand that quote guys you've survived a hundred percent of your worst days and it will work out the last one i've got here is you can do more you can do more this is uh, i think came a lot from my journeys throughout 75 hard and in particular this year with my running goal the running goal of 3,000 kilometers that i that i set for myself and ended up finishing on just under 3,100, so I've got a few posts up on Instagram if you wanna go check those out, at DanSim412. You're able to see a little bit more detail about my running, but 
there were so many times there where, you know, what I did was I broke it up into 250 kilometers per month, and that's what it averaged out for me to hit, to hit my 3,000 kilometers over the year. And there was a lot of times there where I wanted to throw in the towel, where I just thought I couldn't do it anymore, where I thought, that is it, I'm done, I'm finished, I couldn't go anymore. Um, and every single time I thought that, I could always do more. Every time I wanted to turn back on one of my runs and, you know, instead of doing 10K, do 6K, do 7K, do a shorter run or, you know, take a shorter route where I didn't have to go up a certain hill or do, that, do things like that. Every time I wanted to do that and I thought I wanted to quit and I thought I cannot go anymore, I can't take an extra step, I can't run an extra, an extra kilometer, I did. And I kept pushing and I did that. And sometimes when I felt like I couldn't do any more, I'd go and do an extra kilometer or an extra two kilometer. And I pushed myself even further just to prove to myself that I could always do more. So, you know, you can do more as well too. You're probably sitting there thinking, I can't do any more. I've had enough. I can't run anymore. I can't work out anymore. I can't take it anymore. But understand you can do more. So guys, they are my four things that I learned in 2022 and just recapping them, I've got my notes written down here in front of me, is you know the answer and you have the answer inside of you as number one. And a little bit of a follow on, a follow on from that is trust your gut and trust your instincts. Number three is it works out. And number four is you can do more. So guys, like I started the video, I really hope that you know, you can have a prosperous 2023 and learn something from my lessons from 2022. And I'd love to hear your lessons, guys. Let me know what your lessons are in the comments below, wherever you're watching this. If you are actually listening to this um, on podcast, you can hit me over up on Instagram, dansim412, and let me know what you learned in 2022 and also what some of your goals are in 2023. I haven't finished finalizing my goals yet. I am going to be doing that. Um, I've been contemplating what to do with my running, but I believe that I'm going to continue that because, you know, it's been the cornerstone of everything that I've done, my mindset. Um, and, and so much has come from that time running for me. So that's been a big, big, big thing uh, for 2022. You guys, that is it for me. Have an awesome New Year's Eve and hope you have an amazing 2023.